Hey, what up YouTube? It's Shooky J. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but today I'm going to show you how to download music from almost any website. So here we go. You're going to need Google Chrome for this. I don't believe it works for any other browser, but you need Google Chrome. And just for example's sake, we're going to use this website. Um, disclaimer, I don't want to get the artist pissed at me. I gotta admit they make really really good music and I actually have paid for it but just I thought I'd point out their flaw so Kevin Envoy if you're watching this I really hope you take this into consideration and maybe fix the flaw in your coding but um down here this is his album Adventures of a Cosmonaut and if you were to click on this, it would start playing. So I'm sure you can hear that. So you're probably wondering, how do you download it? There's no button that says download. And the intent is for people not to be able to download it. They want you to pay for it. And here it says iTunes US. It adventures of a cosmonaut. Oops little mistake there. Alright, Adventures of a Cosmonaut. And here it is for nine dollars. That's what he wants you to pay for it, but we're gonna get it for free. So this is why we're using Google Chrome because if you press F12, which is actually a little bit conflicting, seeing that's the button that I use to start and stop recording, so we're gonna have to do it the hard way. More tools and developer tools so that's how you get there you go to the menu more tools developer tools another way you can do that is just to press F12 but since I can't press F12 without ending this recording I had to do it like that but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the song that you want to download start playing you can click pause you don't need to hear it the whole time and it comes up in the network section when you first open this window it's going to be an element but you want to be under network and here it is I don't mind which is the song we just clicked on so you click it it'll tell you the remote address the request URL the request method which is get and that works for us because it allows us to just get it so what you do is you copy the entire link, copy it, and then you go to a new tab. You paste it there. You can see it is still the same website if you look. Kevin-Envoy-AdventuresOfACosmonaut.com Same thing, and then you have this little stuff at the end. And that's the file we're after. So what we're going to do is press Enter. And as you can see, it just starts playing. So right now we're just going to pause it, but what we're going to do now is right click and save as. And now you can see it's an mp3. Now I already downloaded this just to see if it would work, and it in fact did. So just to prove to you that it works, let's download it again. Replace the file, and then we're going to open the file we just downloaded. Sure enough, it plays right in Windows Media Player, and if you really want to, you can go and do it for the rest of the songs too. So here we have that jazz, you click it, it comes up in the network window, it starts playing on the website itself, but what we want to do is click this, copy the link, we'll just reuse the same tab, clear that out, paste it, and there you go. So again, my purpose of this video is not to be pirating music, which technically this isn't pirating because it's on the internet, available for download. I know the artist would prefer that it be downloaded through iTunes because you pay for it, but in this case, it's technically not illegal seeing that you don't have to hack or breach security to get through it it's literally all you're doing is going into the developer settings of Chrome 
so there's nothing illegal about that however i urge you to support the artist and do not do it like this i'm just showing you you know just for a learning experience anyone who's interested in learning it stuff here you go but i don't recommend doing this as it takes away money from the artist so just as proof i'm going to delete this i do not pirate music empty recycle bin how do you do that there you go empty recycle bin just to prove i'm not a pirater so there you go there's a quick video just because i haven't made one in a while but i did want to delete that just so you don't get the hint that i'm trying to pirate music here i'm just trying to teach people stuff but yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Peace.